Sue Koch. I'm your social media success catalyst. I've been doing social media since I jumped the corporate ship back in 2009. Um, and I actually was intending on doing some e-commerce and web consulting based on my past. And then the economy tanked. And I thought, oh my god, what am I going to do now? I have no market marketing budget anymore and I am not going back to that corporate thing. And then this thing Twitter and LinkedIn happened to be working fairly well. And so I started using Twitter and LinkedIn and started getting consulting gigs that way, which was kind of amazing. It was new, it was fresh, it was free. And then people started asking me if I could do the same for them. And I thought, well, yeah, that sounds pretty cool. So back in the day when I first started, we didn't really think much about content strategy because like I said, I was kind of playing around on Twitter. I realized I started to get to know people, started to build relationships, started sharing ideas and tips, and it worked. Same thing on LinkedIn. But I didn't really go into it with, what is my strategy and plan? I really went into it with, oh crap, I have no money and I'm consulting and I don't want to go back to that job, so how am I going to make that happen? So that's how it began. And that's how most companies and businesses started using social media because it was a new foundation. It was a new landscape. And we didn't really know what was coming from it. But now times have changed and it's really important to have a plan around it. Social media can be very, very easily turned into a broadcasting platform instead of what it truly should be is a relationship building, brand awareness and educating platform. One that always stands out for me is Oreo. I don't even eat Oreos. Oreo. I should. Wow. I didn't um, see that coming. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, and I, yeah, I haven't had or an Oreo in years, but I think about them a lot. Um, <laughs> but even from back to the the um, Super Bowl fiasco where the electricity went out, and within 30 seconds, Oreo had their tweet up that had, you can still dunk in the dark with <laughs> graphic design. It That's made awesome. social media history. If I just spent all of my great content across all of social media at 10.30 a.m., she's not going to see that. So I want to appeal to my audience on the channel, not only in message and content and relevance to the channel, but also in timing. Get, let other people see you. Don't waste that valuable social media real estate all at once. Because if we're doing that all the time everywhere, why am I following you on different channels? We want to give people different benefits and timing to follow us on the different channels that we're active on. Everything really goes back to valuing your time. Because time is money, and why are we on social media is to grow our business. So what you want to think about is if there's four million people using a hashtag, and someone like Gary Vaynerchuk or Oprah Winfrey is using that hashtag, are you gonna even show up? Probably not. Because when you go to that hashtag on Instagram, the first whole section of that is popular posts. Then it's everyone else. Then it's the rest of us, right? So it may be useful to try using some of those multi-million hashtags that the celebrities and influencers are using. But it might also be helpful to look at some of those hashtags that only 250,000 people have used. I love to inspire and what I hear from clients is that um, while I'm with them and after I've left the room and my goal is accomplished that means they're feeling energized it means they're feeling motivated it means they feel much more knowledgeable than they were when I came in to meet with them and they feel like I can do this well thank you guys so much I hope you learned some great new things